This is the very beautiful York Minster, the largest Gothic cathedral in Northern Europe. The city of York has retained much of its medieval atmosphere with charming narrow streets leading to the market. One shop along the way makes traditional pork pies on the premises. They are delightful. At the market, Andrew Kenny from Cross of York Fishmonger sells some of the most popular English fishes, including monkfish, cod, whiting, brill, and the very popular haddock fillets. It is to Whitby, one of the most charming fishing villages of North Yorkshire, that I have come to taste the famous fish and chips at Adley's. So I'm going to have a medium-sized haddock and chips with smooshy peas. Chris Adley has followed in the steps of his father and grandfather in cooking the fish. He tells me the fish must be very fresh and only lightly coated with a very cold batter before frying it in hot oil. The mashy peas are prepared with dried peas that have been soaked and boiled with a little salt and sugar until mushy. Five minutes after ordering, my meal looks appetizing, and the only thing left to do is to find a spot with a view. The fish is very fresh, the butter is crispy, it's really delicious. Fisherman's pie is a great favorite with English families for a special occasion. First, I place a kilogram of a variety of fish fillets, including 200 grams of smoked fish in a pan with one slice onion, two bay leaves and two cloves. Cover with milk and simmer for about five minutes. I then lift the poached fish onto a pie dish. Next, in a pan, I melt 50 grams of butter and stir in 50 grams of flour before slowly mixing in the liquid. The milky cooking liquid of the fish must be cold before you stir it with the butter and flour mixture. Then I sprinkle four hard boiled eggs and some chopped parsley over the fish and pour the sauce evenly over the fish. Next, I pipe some mashed potato evenly, sprinkle the top with the freshly grated cheddar cheese and bake in the oven at 180 degrees for about 30 minutes. This fisherman's pie is so appetizing, it's irresistible. Whitby is so picturesque, some parts are perched on the most stunning coastline. It is in this port that Captain Cook trained to become a skillful seaman. I spent the night at the White Horse and Griffin Inn, where about 250 years ago, the famous navigator assembled his crew before his epic voyage to Australia. It is an historic place to experience the very popular traditional English breakfast. It's a feast of English bacon, fried free-range eggs, tasty Cumberland sausage, sauteed mushrooms, slowly cooked baked beans, grilled tomatoes, and fried bread with artisanal black pudding. I think I'll come back to Whitby. Tomorrow I will be in London where I will discover some of the best British cheeses.